Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Romance of the Free Games 13. Uh, it's been a, well, I think over a week now, and I have been looking forward to it for, well, pretty much the same time, and it's nearly been a week, actually, nearly a week, but anyway. So let's get going with the campaign. Now, you are all in the game, and we're going to be playing from a different scenario, so I've changed all of you dates accordingly, so do not worry. We're going to be playing the anti Dongzuo Coalition uh, start. This is a period of time when... The turmoil started uh, to escalate more so than it had before. The uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion, the scenario before this, is a very um, war period. But this was the start, true start of the escalation and the, well, the start of the problems. And um, that's what we're going to be fighting or facing. Now, I have wrestled between being an officer and being a ruler. But I feel like I want to be a ruler because it allows me, it rewards me more, I believe. And, well, like if we look at the forces, so if I said position myself, so we could start in Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao, uh, two big parts in this, uh, Cao Cao, we could be part of Dong Zuo, but I, I feel that... Um, I'm more experienced because that the, all the hours I've played in this game so far have been a uh, officer. So I feel like we're gonna we're gonna take root in the RTK11 let's play I did all no, two years ago, where I started in Wu and yeah, started in Wu Joe. There we go. So and we're going to be rising ourselves, um, rising ourselves and uh, bettering ourselves. So. We we have t we have raised our flag in Wu, and uh, this is going to be how we start. Now I've put myself away from the coalition uh, because the coalition. I don't know if the if on fictional the events still occur, but there is a big set of chain of events that will change the landscape of the entire north of China. And I kind of want that to play out because it's very interesting when it plays out. So watching it play out while sat here safe because. We're not going to be too safe. I mean, uh, oh, that's Lu Biao, uh, Lu Biao, I believe. Yeah, Lu Biao. Lu Biao will expand quickly. Um, there's also uh, Zhang Chao, who can go straight to Jin Ye. Uh, so we and we are in a semi-decent city. It's not. It's not. It's probably one of the better ones around, but it's also in a position that I feel is to my ability as a ruler. Now there's colors. There's, there's more, used to be more colors, but we're going to be playing as like a brownish orange for this. Now, I'm going to position specifically the character, the characters I made, and that's it. All these other characters are characters from the DLC, so basically famous officers of different periods of time. Now, actually, I'm only going to position a few officers with me. Now, these are people who specifically are either friends of mine, and that's about it. Like, I'm only going to put people who are friends of mine with me because I, I want to make this a little bit harder on myself. So give myself, um, yes. So I'm gonna give myself four officers, and now the rest will all automatically become part of any force, or, no, they will not become part of force, but they will position themselves in every city in China. So all of these cities will be get a random per a person, will might randomly spawn there. Now, yeah, so we will see what happens. We're going to confirm this, and now I'm going to pick who I'm playing as, I'm going to be playing as myself. Now, we're going to be playing mid-level, historical, people can be killed, females will be treated as officers, appearing city. Uh, we're going to make that historical for the officers in the game who meant to start there. But everything afterwards will be fictional, so it's fine. Historical events. Um, so we're going to have fictional force trends and historical events. I'll leave those on, they're, in, they're an interesting way to play the game. Um, everything here will be normal other than officer growth and that's yes. I do want other characters to grow as well because that adds the dynamic effect of the game. Now these are just uh, normal stuff and we are going to be playing it as in Chinese. So that's going to be, it's fun because I prefer the Chinese voices so let's go. So we're going to be doing the anti Dong Zuo Coalition. This is my character and his stats and let's see if there's a nice little cinematic because hopefully there is. Oh yeah, there's also nothing about me. I'm very mysterious. And by mysterious, I mean I didn't have time to make anything about me. After the Yellow Turban Rebellion had, was suppressed, He Jin 
who supported Emperor Shao, gained absolute power and squared off against the ten eunuchs. Amidst, admit, amidst, oh, fuck me. Amidst the intensifying struggle, He Jin was assassinated by the eunuchs. However, Yuan Shu led the remains of He Jin's troops in a purge of the eunuchs, chasing the remnants out of Luyang. Having lost all leadership, Liu Yang was left in chaos until one man in regained control of Emperor Shao. The name of that man was Dong Zuo. Accompanied by his powerful bodyguard, Liu Bu, Dong Zuo went unchallenged in the Imperial Court and his tyrannical rule caused much suffering. His arrogance, his arrogance having no bounds, Dong Zuo ousted Emperor Shao and replaced him with his brother, Emperor Zion. Or Xian, uh, Zion. I'm gonna say Zion because it's. I'm not the best at pronunciate of pronunciation of Chinese names unless I know them or there are characters I've read in the novel. So, although he's in the novel, I've just I remember the more important like the main characters of the novel. So, I am going to be very bad at some pronunciations. So I do apologize. The frustration of many warlords mounted as Dong Zuo's oppressive rule escalated. Disagreeing with his ways, the powerful Yuan Shao and Yun Shu left the capital while Cao Cao and Sun Yan raised armies of their own. Uh, and okay, so Yuan Shu is this guy. I know Yuan Shu is this guy. Yuan Shao is this guy. Cao Cao and Sun Yan. Uh, so the respective colors uh, pretty much dictate their territory, as you can see. The campaign against Dong Zhuo brought new flames to the plains of Zong, Zong Yuan. And that is the first event. Okay, if I may be so bold, I would like to advise you about your upcoming strategy first. How, how about making sure you have an ad advising minister assigned? There can be, this can be done through appointments and the point minister. You may also appoint viceroys and governors to issue commands to districts and cities in your name. Next, I suggest you begin a council to determine the course of action of your force. Your ministers will act according to these plans. Then, issues, then, then issue orders to tell us what you would like us to focus on. We will at times propose missions as well. Only you deserve to rule the nation. This is what we, your vassals, truly believe. Now, as you can see, this is I have never actually played as a ruler. I have played as a viceroy. That's the best I've got. And viceroys are basically rulers under a ruler. It's very, very weird, but they are the rulers second in command of a specific territory. Now, it's um, viceroys are kind of the reason I went for a ruler. I will explain more later. But you can read this if you wish. I have... I already know what I'm going to do, because a Viceroy is, like I said, just a ruler. But uh, obviously has extra abilities. Now, orders are not extra abilities. Orders you can get as a minister, so they're very, very, um, very common. And you got this screen as well when you become a minister, so it's not really as important. This screen I have seen, but it's not in this role. So let's continue on. Yep, this you will have seen. It will be, yeah, this will be seen because Governors is the same as appointing Viceroys, and you get the ability to assign Governors as a Viceroy, so it's it's something, again, I have seen, but um, not in this specific scenario. Okay, so we have started in Wu. Yu Fang. Now, we are... Um, I'm a pretty middle-road in character. I made my character, bar from stat, He's not the best at his abilities. Now, he's great at fighting, sieging, and that's about it. I'm not good at defending. I'm a really attacking guy. My character really does, did fail in that stat. And I have the ability undefeatable in battle, and as you can see, I'm not really anything interesting. I'm pretty, pretty deep normal, if anything. Um, I'm not really anything special. Now, I made it that on purpose. Of course, so this is as I'm the main character, I obviously have a bit more important stats, and you can see my bonds here. The only bond I have is Kong Jun, who is uh, James, who's 17. Fucking hell. So let's appoint some advisors, or ministers in this case. So, ministers. Wait, please tell me Kong Jun is not the only person who could be a min. He's the only person who could be a minister. And he is obviously best at war. So I'm going to allow him to be a war minister. Kong Jun is going to be our war minister for the thing. His expertise is unfortunately only useful here, but I would not be able to use it anyway because... Actually, would I? I would, but his leadership is terrible, and it's better if we give a um, someone over 90 intelligence to the adequate field so they give us more orders. So let's confirm that. <laughs> you shall henceforth be appointed a war minister. May you serve well. Now, the R indicates who gave 
the um, what tier of war minister like war minister G is governorship war minister V I believe it is V is viceroy so may you serve well I shall serve war minister well good so now we have a war minister he can give us two options he's now got two orders and these are the orders now this is someone suggesting that we have myself uh, Kong Jun, Maze Kang, Bai Kogan, and Yan Bahao, who's not affiliated with us. So we can, we can, um, well, hire him, that'd be the best way to do it. But, well, let's, 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 let's get there. So let's do, um, to hire people, you go for personnel, investigate. Nah, no, no, investigate, Joe. I'm glad. Hire. Now, we in the city. These are the people we can hire. And I do apologize to the boys. As these are all... Um, fuck you, game. All people who are not hired. Now, we can see their skills. Um, and uh, we can also, I believe, look at their bio. No, we can't look at their bio here. But we can see stuff about them. Now, age-wise, probably want to go for one of the younger ones, so he's with us longer. But I think what we're going to go for is um, a Guan Yiwu. Who is sat here and he says, as he's our advisor, he can now tell us who he believes is best for this job. So he's saying Boku, uh, Bai Kugan is the best, per perfect person for this task. So let's get him to do it. I ask that you hire Guan Yu into our army. I am honored to be the one chosen to hire a brave warrior such as Gu uh, Guan Yu. Now this will take up one of my two ruler orders. Now I get two orders and I can also listen to people below me when they suggest everything. But other than that, I can only do two direct things, so I don't actually have to do anything. Like, I could not give myself an order and only have people, and I could run around China if I wanted to. I probably would if I could be bothered, but no, we're not going to at the moment. So this... I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to hire two people as from, for me. That's what I want to do. So, who who was second best here? Uh, Beiki um, is probably the next best. In leadership, but not in governance. So we're gonna hire him. For someone like you, it should be no problem. So he's recommending I go. So let's do so. And I can go for show you a bit more about it. I will go convince Baiki myself if I must. Okay. So one second, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue. Right, so we're going to go do this job, and now we can listen to our officer's suggestions. Let's do so. So, patrolling Wu will make help make the people feel safe and secure, and he believe he offers to himself to do this, and we can now pick how much he must work for. Now, the work goal basically dictates how long he should he needs to take, and how much it's going to cost the treasury. Now, the treasury is how much a city earns. The gold I have does not is not included. This also impacts the amount of merits he can earn and the desired results. So, for someone with 75 war and a patrol of 5, I would end towards the tip of the scale because a patrol is a very risky thing. You could duel in there, so therefore, uh, I will allow him to go and work towards a 40. I feel the same, let's just go with your plan. Mazikang's rapport with you has become 29, so we can now, we're building a rapport of characters. Which is what we do now. Also, James is now offering. Oh, sorry, Kong Jun is now going to offer us as a war minister something he thinks we should be doing. We should seek to bring uh, Yan Yu into our army before they are taken by another. Yan Yu is the 40 year old, a uh, 61, 78, 44, 20. He's a pretty average character. He's not the best, so I think we should do so. I feel the same. So he's now going to go do so. Now, we have all of us working. My three guys. And um, it's basically, we have basically everyone working. So we don't need to be in the council building anymore. Because this is the council building where we apply, uh, we do all of the assignments, assign ministers, governments, a lot. Uh, this is where you can punish, seize, and do other stuff with people and give titles out. Materials is buying supplies for our, um, well, supplies of food, basically. 
and gold. This is our obviously more interesting. We'll get we'll get onto these when we encounter them in the game. Now we need to leave actually because we need to go to we need to go to uh, Baiku, who if is not near us. He is in Zhongyi, uh, which is if we if we scroll out, which is here. And we can move them up right now. I'm going to. I like a little. There we go. So we're going to go tra travel to John Yi. It's going to take nine days. So we're going to now a little ride along. Once we get to John Yi, we will, of course, be able to hire him. Now, hiring is very... You have to know people to be hire them, and you have to get build rapport with them to persuade them. Um, so it's very... When, once we get there, we, I will show you what I mean. But anyway, Yan Yu has been hired after being persuaded by Kong Shun at Wu. We now have a new officer, and now... Uh, Kong Jun proposes that we hire Yan Bahao into our army. Shall, what shall be our reply? Now because now because we are not in the city, we now get emissaries instead of the actual characters walking up to us. And again, he wishes to hire the guy in Wu, and I believe so. So let's do it. Let's let him do it. A good idea indeed. So now James, oh sorry, Kong Jun will do so, and he has another option for a uh, uh, thing for us. Kong Jun wishes the streets of Wu be patrolled. This guy has a high war, but no patrol skill, so we're going to send him 20, because as much as I know he can get it done, we don't, no, without patrol skill, it's going to take him longer to get, like, let, for longer for less, so we need to let him work to his abilities. But anyway, I think, perhaps, I agree with that plan. So, <clears throat> now we're in this city, we're going to visit, I'm going to visit uh, Bai Qi. Yes, yeah, Bai Qi is here, but they do not know well, you well enough to welcome you in. Hmm, I should see if someone introduced me. Now, this is what I was uh, referring to. We don't know him. But it seems... So, if we go to uh, here. We go to this. We can see anyone who knows him. Um, hmm. It doesn't seem anyone knows him. Very interesting. So let's see who else is at John Yi. So on this screen is everyone at John Yi. But he won't talk to us. So this is why I don't do hiring missions myself. So that's that's actually was there anything here interesting? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold a banquet. Gonna hot cost us hundred gold, and every officer or person in John Yi will come to this banquet. It's time to prepare for the banquet. I wonder who will show up. As there's only one person here. It's pretty obvious. But anyway, Yan Bahu has been hired after being persuaded by Kong Jun at Wu. So we now have an extra officer, and he is now proposing that we hire Guan Yu into our army. What should be our reply? Hmm. It's pretty gosh, it's a really good character, so we're going to do so. In that case, we shall go with that plan. So he's going to send it. And now we can now order some more interesting things. Now I need to have a cancel. But first, we'll do this. My name is Bai Qi. It's an honor to finally meet you. Thank you for coming. Please, feast and enjoy. A banquet was held in Jian Yi. So this is where, this is the way you meet officers if you have not got the ability to meet someone who is, um, knows them and knows you, and you can get a, uh, like, a letter of a recommendation or a letter of acquaintance. I can't remember the way they actually worded it, but basically you get a letter that says, this guy is, um, you, you, well, you should know him. You, you would... Get on. Uh, something like that. The banquet raised participants' rapport with Yong Fu. Yu Fang, sorry. Yong Fu. What the fuck? That's my name. How did I get that wrong? Anyway, let's go see Bai Qi now. The coup it is. What have you come for today? Now, our rapport is seven, so I think I'm going to try and hire him anyway. It will take ten days, so let's go for that. Will you serve Yu Fang and lend us your strength? I have no reason to refuse. The weak I may be, I shall do my best to serve. I knew you would say as much. Now, let us return to Wu. So I gained 20 experience. But we also... Oh, it didn't actually take 10 days. Well, that's a start. So now we can just press the return and it will go immediately home. Ah, great. One of my favorite things about traveling. When you're traveling, you are you can be lucky, unlucky and have um, bandits try and kill you. As this case. So, oh, oh, oh ho ho. Okay, I'm not, I must admit, I'm not a great voice actor. If you don't want to get hurt, just give me your money and get out of here. So we get to pick our response. We're going to just walk past him. But we'll receive no gold. We can pay the gold, or we can duel him. 
It tells you his war score, so we're going to go duel him. And this will be our first duel. I like duels. Duels are fun. Get out of my way if you want to live. Oh, I thought you'd finish that, but sorry. Fools, you actually thought you could beat me? Okay, my character's a bit cocky. I didn't exactly expect him to be this, but he is, so... But... I shall prove my strength on your body. Not the best sentence he's ever said. Anyway, just try and strike me. So now, we won the initial war stats. Therefore, we get to... We had the first hit, and we took a bit of his chunk of his health off. Now, these are the attacks we can do, and these are what he can do. So he can defend and focus. The others are greyed out, because it's, it's, it's my turn to attack. So, we can do attack, knockout, unbalance, defend, or focus. Um, there's no reason doing defend, because, well, as you can see, we can't... They block these attacks, but not anything else. So, the best thing we can do is unbalance here, which will counter both of the abilities you can do. So let's do so. No matter what my foe, how my foe comes at me, I must focus on my defense. And luckily, we were able to unbalance him. So Bandit's stance is broken, can neither defend or knock out the next turn. <laughs> I can see right through you. So now he can only focus. Which, um, we can just do a simple attack to nullify. All I can do is focus and gather my will. Now this is the will bar, which takes the points to do. Which you use to we'll do unbalance and knock out. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes for him. Didn't go very well. It really did not. So we were victorious, and to rub it in, we told him to choose a better opponent. That's uh, sounds pretty fair. Anyway, we defeated the bandits, and we looted 436 gold from the defeated bandits. So, as a strong character with war, we're lucky that we can challenge bandits and take their money. Because, well, who wouldn't want to take their money? I mean, let's be honest. So, we are now into Wu. And... We need to report our mission. People here have proposals to make. I need to decide which one to start. So the mission we've got to do, we just go to mission and we complete it. I'm quite satisfied with how that turned out. That is it. As we're a ruler, we do not get merits. So which is why I don't actually normally do missions when I'm a ruler. I actually assign people. Anyway, Kong Jun has a suggestion. We should seek to bring Gon Yu, uh, Yiwu into our army before they are taken by another. I am positive that Bai, uh, bai Kogan will succeed. I thought so too. So we're going to go send um, uh, my friend uh, Baikugan off to do so. Now he is. Um, now this is actually a very interesting feature of this game. It is. Uh, it shows you all the bonds and the links and who knows who and how important certain characters are via presence on a global scale. This is every single officer currently in the game. This is Sun Yan, uh, Dong Zuo, Yan Shao, oh, Yan Shu, so yeah, Shao. Uh, where's Yon Shu? Yon Shu is over here, is it? No, that's uh, Liu Han. Where the fuck is, is that? Is it? No. I don't actually know which one he is. <laughs> that's actually pretty sad. Oh, is it? Oh, no, that's Gong Sun Zan. Um, okay, so it doesn't really matter, but it shows the links between people. Now, this is uh, Swan Brotherhood, or uh, Peach Garden Brotherhood, due to... Uh, Guan Yu, Liu Bei, and Zhang Fei having an extremely strong relationship with each other. Uh, we have, uh, I have a swan brother in Kong Jun. So we have a gold. Uh, red, I believe, is acquaintances and friends. And it shows a link between every single person in the game. Now, this is a very interesting thing because it it just makes the, um, it's, it allows you to know who to meet to meet who. So it's it makes the game a little bit interesting. Anyway, so we've got some orders. We need to do some, uh, let's have a look at our so this is our domestic screen. These are our points. Now we can get our 2,000 at the moment, which is this bar here, before the city needs to be it can be improved. Now, more on the improvements later, but I think it's time we made more money. So what we do is to actually no, we'll hold the council first. Uh, our minister's not here, so we'll we'll let our minister. No, he's not busy, so we'll um we'll get our minister. Actually, can we actually let's before we do that, let's see if we can hire people. Is it assign, assign a, uh, min another minister? A domestic minister? No. So we cannot hire any more ministers, so therefore a council will be all we can do. Let's confirm. Your voice must be heard at the council. And he is honoured. That's very good of him. Let this council for our forces begin. So this is where people, officers will now suggest what we do for the next year. 
So Jinye lies in a strategic area that Yufang army needs. We should take two cities in the area, including Zhanye, within 360 days. Now this is his plan. It's considered super easy. He wants us to take Jinye and Huji. And uh, I am going to make a... Uh, I can make my thing. I feel like we should form an alliance with... Ooh, who do I want an alliance with? Hmm... Ooh, yes, you want Xiao. Actually, no, we'll be left alone for the most part. Let's not worry about alliances. Let's um, do a city assault. So, these are the cities we can pick on. Huji and Jinye. I think we take Huji and that'll do. Because I don't want to overextend ourselves. Huji lies in a strategic area that Yufang army needs. We should take it within 360 days. So which surge will start to be? Now, as I'm the only person at the moment... I can pick what I do, and we're going to pick my plan. Mm. I've heard your counsel. We shall follow my plan this time. As said earlier, I was said earlier, taking Huji should be our first priority. The assignment for Yufang Army is to develop City of Salt. We must all strive to see it done. With the approval of the assignments, your rapport with the officers who attended the council has changed. Now, with councils, you will change, and uh, different things will happen. Now, we have currently, I believe, eight officers? Seven. I was one off. Now let's actually hire. Let's make sure our army is. Uh, we're we're going to get some more patrolling done. I will do some patrolling actually. If it makes Wu a safe place, I shall do it. Now we have a year to do this before it's considered a failure. And the best thing to do is actually spend most of that time building our men up. Because, well, this city needs to have good men if we're going to survive. Now we're going to also train. We're going to train horse. Actually, we'll train bows because bows are actually the most used in this game. And, um,. By key as a leadership of a hundred and training of eight, which means he is amazingly good at training bows. He also has bow aptitude, hence the increased ability to train bows. So we're going to leave him to do that. It'll take him up to at least it'll take him 90 days. If anyone else, it would be 150 because he is much better. It'll take him 90. So let's allow him to do so. And Baki will oversee the training of Wu's commander. Now, I cannot do anything until I have other officers. But what I can do is, as you see, I am now to patrol and patrol and we go here. But oh, I'm actually going to visit someone first. Now, these are all the people inside where you can visit. The closer to you they are, the more rapport they have with you. As you can see, with a 23 and a 29 and the length to them, it's, they're close to me if they're more friendly. Now, we're going to go for another five minutes because this is the first part. But Guan Yu wants to speak to me, as, you, as indicated by this little exclamation mark. Or he has shown interest. Or another uh, various, one of the various um, uh, forward, no, values. One of these. Oh, that's actually a really useful thing. We'll keep that up. One level. Yeah, no. Um, oh, shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Back on it. Fuck you. Come here. <laughs> I'm not very good with this switch. Yeah, explanations. Yeah. There we go. So now we can, and you can see people who are gratitude, charm, interest or respect. Now he is none of the above, but he just wants to see us. So let us actually, I'm also going to, no, sorry, add the display of values to this. Now we can see that he, he's uh, bravery and aptitude. Now, yeah, we'll, we'll learn more about him What's when we it? meet him. Yes, Gwanyu is here, but they do not know you well and ought enough to come welcome you. Hmm. I should have someone introduce me, perhaps. Now, doesn't he work for me? No, he doesn't. Right. Ah, okay, this is a very interesting. Someone wants our help. Now, this is aiding the people of the city, so it's not really a thing smart to do. But the people of the city will occasionally ask for your help, and then if you help them, you don't get anything. But if you help officers in your force, you can gain rapport and uh, sometimes a bonus rewards. Most of the time, not, but you can, and that's why helping people is interesting. If you see this little thing over one of these, that means we can help them, but we're not. We're going to go straight to patrolling. And now we get given multiple different types of patrols. You can do a normal, a cautious, a seeking, or a hunting. Hunting, of course, allows you discovery rate. Discovery rate indicates if you will have a fight at the end of it. So let's just go for a hunting patrol. And we're going to take Yan Bahu, hopefully with us, which will increase the results we get. We get none from Cobb. If we help, if he helps, we get an extra two. Let's go. And he would gladly help us, which is very good of him. So for the next 10 days, I think it is. The time has come. Give word to move out and capture Huji. 
refuse. Now is not the time for such action. Now we normally, your AI will actually tell you to do it because it's an empty city, but at the moment, I would like to leave myself. And this is one of the first events of the game. We are actually going to end it here because I, I really want to start the part with this. So I will see you guys in the next part. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys then.